In this video, you will learn how to import 3D models and create resources for the model objects. Select the Import icon from the Quick Access menu, or select File, Import, 3D. Select Add Files. Locate the DWF files for the tutorial. Holding down the Control key, select the following files. Existing Site, New Landscaping, Office Building, and Site Infrastructure. By selecting Next, you can modify the 3D import settings explained in the previous video. Since we already set these as desired, simply select Import. A progress bar will display while the files are being imported. When the files have finished loading, the resource wizard will appear. When 3D objects are imported into Synchro, they are just 3D representations that can be viewed and manipulated in the 3D window. In order for 3D geometries to be linked to the project schedule, they must be assigned to resources. These should be considered 3D resources, which can be, in essence, a copy of the object name or several objects grouped together as one 3D resource. Resources are anything used by a project schedule, which are identified by four types, human, equipment, material, and location. Select Assign to a new resource, which will automatically create new resources within the Synchro project to represent the 3D elements. Then select Next. Change the name to New Building Items. Make sure the resource type is set to Material. Then select Next. The resource creation options are shown here. These options can be used to help filter or group the imported 3D objects. The different options are explained more thoroughly in the next video, but generally speaking, use the Build Tree options if you want to assign model objects separately to different tasks. Use the Don't Build Tree options to group all the objects within a CAD file as one. For example, an equipment model with all its subparts, wheels, bolts, etc., that does not need to be assembled in the animation, but will instead be assigned to tasks as a whole. The bottom option, Add Resources Underneath Build Tree, gives you the largest object tree and the most options for filtering and linking resources to tasks. For this tutorial, we will give each individual item a resource, so choose Add Resources Underneath Build Tree and select Next. At this point, Synchro will read in the 3D files, analyzing their content and creating associated material resources. During this process, you may be confronted with this warning. This will happen if you're using the sample files. In creating material resources, Synchro also tries to create meaningful names for each resource so you can find and use them later. These names are based upon information read from the 3D file, where duplication is possible. The names of the 3D objects will need to be unique if you plan to synchronize with an updated 3D file so that future modification of the structure in your CAD model can be reflected in Synchro. We've received this warning because there are three objects with identical names. However, you can still use these items, so select Finish to continue. Your imported models can now be seen in the 3D window, and the item names are listed in the 3D Objects and Resources windows. To save your project, select File, Save. Choose a location to save your file, then name the file Training Project, and select Save. The file will be saved as trainingproject.sp. We will use this file in the other videos in this series.